Are we in this thing? Yes, we are. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. Hopefully, you are doing fantastic. I am doing well. Yes, you're seeing the title correctly. We are back. It's another Thursday, Untitled Foolery. I'm so excited. Thank you all so much for all the love, all the support. Thank you for your comments last week. Get your comments in today because, honey, you've seen the title correctly. We're hitting on some restaurant fast food full we can break this down in about 15 parts but I, we ain't gonna do all that and today we're gonna continue with this pandemic series we're gonna talk about restaurants and fast food i said we have to do a pandemic series because honey we're going into a year of being in this pandemic panera bread pumpernickel bullshit i'm sick of the pandemic yes the pandemic has taught me a lot of things i've done a lot it's been good but then on the other side i'm like can we please get out of this it's going on a year and i'm tired i am tired down below in the comment section please let me know where you are in the world and how you are handling your restaurant slash fast food choices now for me i am based in north carolina and honey oh we went from everything shut down to everything's open and then we're gonna close it again then we're gonna put stipulations on it and then we're gonna give you a curfew and then we're gonna move this around and now you can take alcohol to go and then you can and it's like i feel like a puppet i cannot keep up with all the shenanigans Woo! We can have all the orders, all the curfews we want, but people, we, we ain't gonna follow no instructions. That's why it's a year later and we're still in the pandemical. Hitting on some of the fast food places. For once in my life, I wanna go inside an establishment and place an order. But a lot of these fast food places, you still cannot go inside. And if you are, you are not going to have no seat. Something I'm wondering with the fast food joints is why is it taking even longer for my food? And I've realized out of all the places I go to to get me a little fast food when I want it, it's really Popeye's and Wendy's always take the longest. I don't give a damn what type you go to. It's going to take 50 years for a Wendy's fo 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 And it's also going to take a long ass time for whatever you order on the menu from Popeye's and they both got an attitude that's what I can't get now the attitude award I'm gonna give to Popeye's every time I go no we ain't got that no man mm -mm. you only get one sauce I like all the sauces I'm so sorry that I'm raising my voice I'm a little traumatized because um everybody still loves McDonald's personally for me uh I got the little taste not a little taste of food poison I got full-blown food poisoning and I know I got it from McDonald's ass I know I did all I wanted was a little Big Mac, okay? No pickle. Mm -mm. I don't rocks with pickles. Not that kind. I wanted fresh fries. Fresh. Now, if you want them super fresh, just tell them I want no salt. And then they got to be like, yeah, okay. And I wanted a caramel sundae with nuts on that thing. Yes, I did. Everything was fine until about two hours later and my stomach was in the floor. That was the problem. I didn't know whether I was coming or going, child. Oh my God, I saw my life flash before my eyes. It was terrible. Then I went back maybe a month later and tried their spicy McNuggets. Now granted, why y'all take off the spicy nuggets? I actually enjoyed them, even though I knew it was gonna rip my intestines apart. Oh, a lot of y'all saying, now Miss P, if you got food poison, why the hell you go back? Now here's the thing, mind your business. That's the biggest thing. And also, I will never not go to McDonald's because a filet of fish will always save the day. You can always think about it and say, you know what, get me a fish sandwich from McDonald's. That, that's pretty good, ain't it? Yeah, but that's the thing. I had me a filet of fish recently and it wasn't the same. I don't know what it is about fast food lately. It is not the same. And half of this food ain't even real food. I should have known when they removed the Butterfinger McFlurry and the for real, for real high C orange at the McDonald's I knew is no longer. Another place that I really fucked with, okay? Taco Bell. Now here's the thing. I saw that they took the Mexican pizza off of their menu. That's the only thing that I really messed with at Taco Bell was their Mexican pizza. Yet they took it off the menu and brought back the nacho fries. I don't want that. I don't. Taco Bell, I used to mess with y'all. I don't know. Burger King, same thing. Y'all selling tacos now. It's too much. I need y'all to stay in your lane and it won't be no traffic. It's too much going on. Burger King is selling too much shit. And then when you want a for real Whopper, you're like, pip, pip, what is this? Now, Chick-fil-A has only gotten better with time. I have to give it up for Chick-fil-A because in this pandemic, they've opened up a whole nother lane, okay? During the holiday season, it was a well-oiled machine. I feel like every single place that is in operation should have Chick-fil-A training. They can take your order as soon as you pull onto their pavement. <laughs> it's amazing! Yo, whenever y'all go to Chick-fil-A next time, get they brownie. Oh my God! 
phenomenal. Let's fast forward to the restaurant situation. Now, granted, I've gone to a restaurant or two or 12 since, you know, the pandemic, and I've seen it go through all types of changes where you're just getting to go and that's it to now you can come in, but it's every other table and capacity is maybe at four people. It's crazy. I don't know how to keep up with it. But the only thing that makes me really scratch my scalp is um, as soon as you, <laughs> to get into the place, you got to put a mask on, right? Uh, then when they sit you down at the table, you can take your mask off. I mean, everybody just naked out here. Kiki. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, there's shields up on the booth. So are you telling me that COVID can't just permeate through the booth to get on the table and get on the shield and then get on my naked mouth? Oh my God. I, I can't. I just, I don't, uh, I don't know the things that make me go, huh? If I'm ordering some food. This is if I'm at Cheesecake Factory and I'm getting ready to get in the line to get my cheesecake. Or if I'm at Sheets, I don't know, and want to get me a good little drink real quick. Or if I am placing my order at Zaxby's, get off my neck. I hate feeling people's breath on my neck and you still got a mask on. That means you are too close to me. It says six feet. They have X's. They have little dashes. They even have stickers now everywhere. Look at the stickers. Look at the fucking stickers. Get off of my neck. I don't have time for it. Oh my God. One of the things I hate is if I need ketchup, just bring the ketchup and mustard. Put them in some little things or something. You know I'm gonna need some ketchup. You know I'm gonna need some silverware. You know I need some napkins. You know I need a straw. Yet I gotta ask you. Oh my God, mm -mm. that's something I, I don't know. I need extra napkins. I already don't wanna touch anything due to the COVID Navidad. Some things with this pandemical in these restaurants and fast food joints. I'm like, come on, you know I need a straw. You know I need some extra sauce up in this bitch. You know I need some ketchup. Come on now, salt, pepper, come on. But y'all, if we needed a pandemic for these restaurants to be cleaner, then so be it. Comment below, honey, and let me know your restaurant fast food foolery, and I will be back next Thursday hitting on some comments, so get your comments in down below. We can talk about this because we're doing a pandemic series, okay? We're talking about any and everything pandemic-related. Comment below on the social medias as well, and let me know what type of pandemic foolery would you like for me to talk about. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Stay safe. Bye!